A week of competition in amongst the idyllic Bavarian Alps. It was hard to imagine then what the next few months would hold. As a bobsleigh pilot, at the end of the season, you, you, you're, you're already six months ahead, you're planning ahead, you're, 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 you're working on um, you know, what your equipment's going to look like, what your, you know, your, your team's going to look like, and plan ahead. And again, like you said, we had no clue. Um, we finished off in Conan, say, at the inter-services, and you know, we were just thinking so far ahead. Never have thought that you know, five, six months later we would have gone through what we've been through, and you know, there's still uncertainty. <laughs> For these winter athletes, their international season had at least been completed. But no one knew and still doesn't really know what the future holds in terms of global competitions and sporting events. For example, if the Winter Olympics in Beijing 2022 still go ahead, that would only allow six months between the summer and winter games. Trying to focus on the here and now though, at least the GB bobsleigh team have been able to manage their off-season training schedule, albeit with a few differences. Yeah, raided the gym um, and then used a family farm locally and was training with cows and chickens and stuff like that, so it was exciting, yeah. And personally, you know, you've become a dad in, in the last few months as well, yeah. so that's been, um, 2020's been quite a... Yeah, it's been, it's been a bit full on, yeah. Um, but no, like I say, it's, it's actually made, forced me to be in a routine more um, and I've, I've never had everything set out. So daddy duty is training, daddy duty is training. So it's, it's, it works out quite well, to be fair. Two crews led by bobsleigh pilots Lamin Dean and Brad Hall are back full time now with the athletes training on different days to maximise their output. For the most part, it's been heat waves and the occasional TikTok video. But our two days of filming were like two different seasons. On day one, adhering to the guidelines and having his temperature taken, Grenadier Guardsman Lamin Dean has been on the bobsleigh scene for 12 years. Last year, he was joined by brakeman Ollie Butterworth from the Parachute Regiment. The pair won the military men's two-man bobsleigh competition in Koenigsegg. The facilities at the University of Bath are as ever world-class. And the team there have been strong proponents of getting sport, and particularly elite sport, back on track. The squads train six days a week, a combination of sprints, gym work, and of course the world famous push start track. Brad Hall's crew of six, which includes Paras, Luke Dawes and Nick Gleason, as well as Royal Marine Taylor Lawrence, actually made the decision to live together from April so that the knock-on effects of coronavirus didn't affect them. Try to get me taken back to work here. <laughs> they even created a gym at the house, so there's no excuse. We were always talking the idea of getting like all the crew into one house and we were thinking, oh, it it would be good, but then it'd be a bit of carnage, and we were just like, and eventually, you know, we pulled the pin on it and decided, yeah, we're going to get a house. Um, so we all, all six, seven of us living live there, and uh, as it's good times, obviously, well, you got you got six guys living close in it. There are going to be arguments or whatever, but it's the whole point of being a crew. And if you can do it during the summer, it just prepares you better for when you're away in the hotels, when you're away for six months a year with each other. Taylor made a very quick and successful transition from rugby to bobsleigh and only joined the team at the beginning of this year. So 2020 has definitely been life changing for him. After Christmas, I got approached by Brad and um, he just pretty much asked me if I wanted to go away with him uh, to compete at the World Cup and World Champs, uh, pushing the side handle. Obviously, I jumped at the opportunity to do it, but this was like I've never pushed four man, never pushed on the side handle. So a lot of it was like baptism by fire, but I enjoyed every single moment of it. The current circumstances though, lockdown and the uncertainty of sports COVID future, isn't these athletes' biggest concern. The lack of funding is. UK Sport pulled their financial support from bobsleigh in 2018. Bruce Tasker, who eventually won bronze at the Sochi Games in 2014, with Royal Marine John Jackson and the RAF Stu Benson, now trains one of the crews. He says the military remain the backbone of the squad. And although the armed forces personnel have the advantage of still being paid for their military careers, it's frustrating when both crews are realistically expected to finish in the top 10, if not higher. We want to prove to people that we're not a joke and we should be funded. Um, like last year, we come seventh in the world with a brand new crew. The year before that, uh, Nick and Brad come fourth in the world. So we're not, we're not a mess about athletes. We want, we're striving for a podium at Beijing. Um, so yeah. It does drive us on.
Aside from a couple of niggling injuries, Ollie's wrist and Luke's hamstring, the squad are looking fit and fearless as they head into the unknown. They of course hope, as we all do, that some kind of winter season will be possible because despite the uncertainty surrounding everything at the moment, a podium in Beijing remains the ultimate aim. Kath Brazier, Forces News, Bath.